Last time on Total Drama Redemption Island, the campers were given a break from voting people off by being given a non-elimination episode. The challenge would give them a neat new reward, but many didn't want to try. As a result, Justin was able to win the first of its kind, Silence Idol, an idol that can remove a vote from someone else. Eva made herself and Joe look like a threat to the other members of the cast, pleasing Bierto and Justin who didn't do anything that big this week. Tyler asks Joe how she's holding up, and Joe says that she hates Eva. That girl may be tough, but she's dumber than a box of rocks. I mean, how is she a threat? Tyler says that she is strong, and Joe says, oh, here we go. Tyler adds onto a statement saying that he would never vote for Joe, though. They're friends, right? Joe says that out of everyone here, he's the only one who could be considered one. He's a bit of an airhead, but he's nice, and if she wanted anyone to win besides her, it would be him. Eva tells Sammy that she can't take Joe down alone. Sammy says she's well aware. She's gonna get Wayne to help her. Eva says that's great, but they still need one more. If they don't, then that means Joe can get Beardo and Justin, and then they have all the power. Sammy says that there's no way she's gonna team up with Justin. He's only trouble, but Eva says that she needs to fake it or else it'll be her and Sammy that are on the outs. Sammy says, fine, I'll play along, but this better not cost me anything. Justin asks Wayne how he feels about Eva, and Wayne says that he doesn't know. She's not nearly as cool as Joe, yet Sammy likes her a lot. It kinda sucks, honestly, especially since his bro Tyler is friends with Joe, but his girlfriend's friends with Eva. He just kinda wants to play on both teams, you know? Beardo says he totally understands where he's coming from. How about this, you vote with us tonight, and we make sure your problem goes away. Wayne asks if they'll really do that for him, and Justin says of course, we're friends, right? That's what we're here for. Wayne in confessional says that he was worried about the vote tonight, but Justin and Bierdo really helped him out here. Justin in confessional says that this is just what they needed, now he can choose any person here to get rid of, he just has to think of which loser deserves to go home the most. Chris welcomes the teams to their next challenge. First off, good news, Boney Island is no more. Now that there's 70 you left and no idol hidden, it's better off each of you get a say about the vote. But for now, let's talk about the challenge. You all will dress yourself up in random materials and walk down the catwalk in our fashion contest. Justin says that they may as well give him the immunity now. Chris says, not so fast, Justin. This isn't about how good you look, but about how creative and good looking you are. Justin says, that's fine. I already have one of them down. What's so hard about being creative? You can find your supplies in the back. Make like Caesar and start dressing. You have five minutes. Eva asks Joe if this dress will look good on her, and Joe says, I don't know. Maybe you should ask everyone if it'll help you win since you're the biggest threat. Eva says, really? Why can't we team up? We're the strongest girls here, after all. Joe says she would have loved to if she could have kept her mouth shut, but she's shown she won't do that, so here we are. Eva says in confessional that she doesn't know what Joe's problem is. She messed up, she'll admit it. That's no reason to treat her like a villain. Tyler says to look at this picture frame he found, and Wayne says that's sweet. They should try shooting some hockey pucks through it for fun. Tyler says he was thinking the same thing. Sammy tells Wayne to focus, they need the immunity. Wayne sighs and says, okay, Sammy. Beardo asks Justin if they should try harder, and Justin says to face the facts, they already have Wayne voting for someone else, they don't need to win this challenge. All they need is to manipulate others not to vote for them. I mean, look at Joe and Eva, they won't work together, which means at most two votes can be cast against them. If we plan Wayne's vote well, they have free reign over who goes tonight. Beardo says that he knew he picked the right partner in this game. Beardo in confessional says he really needs to get rid of Justin sooner rather than later, but once Justin goes, he's out of allies. Chris says time is up, show us what you've got. Tyler walks down the catwalk not getting a very high score, and Tyler says that Lindsay picked this out for him. How can it be bad? Chris says to face it dude, it didn't work in World Tour, it won't work now. Tyler mutters that he wouldn't know fashion if it hit him in the head. Justin goes next and Chris says that he's hot, but he didn't make a costume. Justin says that with perfection like him, would an outfit be necessary? Chris says yes? I mean, that's the point of the challenge after all. Joe goes next with terribly placed makeup and Chris says that he's seen enough. She's definitely not winning. Wayne goes out in his normal attire and asks where the cats walking are. Are they at the end of this road? He continues walking before Chris says that his outfit is perfect. It's a perfect statement about fashion and the upper class. It's amazing. Wayne wins. Eva says that she hasn't gone yet, and Chris says that they don't need to. Nothing can top Wayne's outfit. 
Eva yells that it's just his normal outfit, and Beardo says to calm down, she wouldn't want to make an enemy out of Sammy, would she? Eva says no, she wouldn't. Chris asks who Wayne is bringing to the spa hotel, and Wayne starts to stress out about whether to bring Tyler or Sammy and says he doesn't know. He won't bring anyone to it. Chris says that is certainly an option. Well, everyone else, I'll see you at elimination. Sammy asks Wayne why he didn't bring her into the spa hotel, and Wayne says he's sorry, he just likes both her and Tyler. Sammy asks if he's gay, and Wayne says not like how Raj likes guys, he just values both of them equally and doesn't want to make an enemy out of them both. Sammy says that she'll never hate Wayne. Wayne asks if they can work with Justin Bierdo, and Sammy says that if that's what he wants, they can work together. But be careful, I don't think Justin is a good influence. Wayne says that's great news, he's gonna tell them right away. Oh yeah, vote for Joe. Wayne in Confessional says that it's weird they told him to tell Sammy to vote for Joe considering they're voting for Eva, but maybe they're just trying not to have her feel bad about betraying Eva. Joe tells Eva that she's sorry. Eva says that she's not sorry, she just knows her head is on the chopping block tonight. Face it, you're going home. Joe says to dream on, if anything, you're going home. I just wanted to extend a lifeline to you, but never mind. Justin goes to Tyler and tells him that tonight's elimination is going to be tough. Tyler says to tell him about it. He can only vote for Eva and hope things go well. Justin says that things can go a bit different. Tyler asks how, and Justin says that he heard from the grapevine that someone is trying to gun for Joe. Isn't she her friend? Tyler says that she's probably his best friend after Wayne. Justin says exactly, and you won't believe who's doing it. Chris welcomes the campers to elimination. Chef, tell them why they're actually losers. Tyler, do you know the definition of insanity? It's doing the same thing twice and expecting a different result like you did in this challenge. Eva, your temper might get you thrown out of here sooner rather than later. And Justin, your cocky attitude is gonna bring you down if you keep it up. Justin says that it hasn't brought him down yet. Chris says right. Well... Here's the marshmallows. Wayne of course is safe, then Tyler, Beardo, Justin. Now, everyone else has at least one vote. And finally, the person who is leaving tonight will be... Sammy. Sammy is shocked and asks what happened, and Joe says that honestly, it's a shock to her as well. Beardo says he can explain what happened. Tyler came to him and Justin and says that he wants Sammy gone since she's too controlling of Wayne. As was perfectly evident in today's challenge. We had a different plan originally, but Tyler seemed confident that this was the right choice. Tyler says that he didn't do that, and Wayne asks how he could do that to him. Joe says that she didn't think he would be so cutthroat. Sammy says whatever is the truth, she won't be there to see it. Good luck everyone. Wayne asks if this means she's gone for good, and Sammy says she'll never be gone forever. Just try your best and I'll see you in the finale. Wayne tells Beardo thanks for telling him. If he wants, he can join him in the spa hotel. Beardo says he will definitely do that. Wayne in Confessional says that he thought he knew Tyler. To think he'd betray him and hurt him like Julia would've. Joe in Confessional says that she doesn't really believe Beardo's story about what Tyler said. She's known Tyler for far too long to know that he doesn't have a strategizing bone in his body. Beardo's lying, and now she knows that Beardo has been lying this entire time. Beardo in Confessional says that he actually thought of that one on the spot. Next one gone is Tyler, and then it's Justin, and then he owns the entire rest of the cast. And that's that for Total Drama Redemption Island Episode 16, what did you think? Question of the week, with the series nearing its end, who do you hope will win? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Redemption Island.